one of the sad things about New Mexico is we have federal overreach that reaches into our cattle industry. We have... cattle industry in New Mexico has been impacted. On February 10th, 47 cattle gunned down in New Mexico by the U.S. Forest Service. On March 4th, 65 head of cattle shot from a helicopter in New Mexico. Helicopters with snipers targeted cattle. And currently right now in our seasons, it's calving season and they didn't care. The snipers took them out. And this is what's happening here in New Mexico. They were labeled feral, but the food industry calls them organic. They were killed by snipers and left to rot and contaminate the waters that they lay in. The reasoning, environmentalists push to save the meadow jumping mouse and other endangered species. These species that cannot feed the people, they are the ones that are protected, not our food sources. Federal overreach has come before the Southwest Indian Relief Council wrote, by the 1930s, the U.S. government through the Bureau of Indian Affairs instituted a policy to reduce large Navajo herds. The Navajo people had no say in this decision made between the Soil and Conservation Service and the Bureau of Indian Affairs. The government slaughtered the livestock, but as the reductions went on, sheep, goats, and horses were simply shot and their carcasses were left to rot in the fields. This ushered in the 1930s starvation period of the Navajo. We entered the Great Depression with the rest of America. Cattle is a big part of New Mexico. Red Rock, Snow, the West. This is who we are as New Mexicans. This is who we are as Navajo people. We are out here. This is how we live every day. Not seasonal. These aren't vacation homes. This isn't something we do for hobbies. It's actually our livelihoods. This is who we are as New Mexicans. And we need to have our voices heard because right now, those livelihoods are being impacted. Impacted by people who don't live this life, who don't understand what it is to have beef on your tables to feed your children as an industry that provides a livelihood for us. This is who we are as New Mexicans. My name is Karen Bedoni and I am a New Mexican, born and bred from generations. And I am here to help save it.